Okay, we're back now. And hopefully I got enough battery power to show this to you. We're now going to give you a demonstration on how to feed and prepare a tape on the realistic tape recorder. And I have another tape here that we're going to use. And the first thing that I need to do is make sure that the the round uh, supporters are off, and they are. They're not there, so that's good. So we're going to go ahead and put the reel on like this, and you want to make sure that the reel, where the where it comes out of the out of you know the tape that comes out of the reel, is on the left hand side. That's how it has to be. See that? That's how it has to be. And I'm also going to remove the uh, the head covers here. Let's see if we can get that off there. And that way you can see. Now, before we go any further, I got to get the take-up reel and put it on. Now, the take-up reel it doesn't matter what side you put it on. I usually like to try to stay consistent, but for this demonstration, we're just going to go ahead and put it on there. And there we go. Now we're ready to feed the tape. And the way you feed the tape on this one is pretty much the same way. Make sure that it's against all the posts. And also make sure that the dull side of the tape is to the head. Otherwise, as I said before, it will play backwards. And you can see that the tape doesn't have to go around as many parts on this machine as it did on the Magnavox machine. So actually, the, the realistic machine uh, allows you to, to prepare a tape a lot easier. You notice this one didn't take quite as long, but that's also because the tape was in the right direction as well. And then, of course, you just wrap around the tape accordingly, like one full turn, till it catches. And there's the there's the prepared tape. And then you put these supporters on so that the reels don't jump around as they turn. And now we're going to power it up. And being that this has speakers on it, we're going to activate the speaker switch so we can hear what's happening. And we're going to go ahead and turn this into play mode. Right now it's in pause mode. On this one you go to pause first and then play. So let's go to play. And you notice on this one there's plenty of lead before the recording starts. And there's the recording. And so everything is right. These experiences that we have of classwork. So there you can tell you can tell that the tape was fed in correctly. So as I said, the procedures are pretty much the same, other than the fact that as I said there's not many parts for the tape to go around on this machine as there is on the other one. And then of course what we always want to do before we forget put the head protectors back on in case we don't play the tape right away everything will be protected and there we go. So that's how you feed and prepare a tape for the realistic machine. And it's also the same for record. Again, you just make sure that your levels are correct and your um, tape is prepared properly, you know, with the, with the dull side towards the head. And then make sure that, you know, depending on what speed you want to record on, you adjust it with the speed control. Again, that's three and three quarter. Now, just to kind of give you a demonstration real quickly here, 
on what it sounds like if you have it on the wrong speed. This is seven and a half with a three and three quarter recording. See, that's what happens if you have it on seven and a half for a three and three quarter recording. Then, here's what happens if you have it on one and seven eighths with a three and three, three and three quarter recording. So that's what happens. So if, if you're running into that kind of a problem where the tape isn't playing correctly, that's the first thing to check is your speed setting. So we'll put it back on three and three quarter, go back into play. We had a most glorious time here, those of you who were present remember it. And uh, it has made for a wonderful relationship with and there you go that's the right speed so that's how to check and a little bit of a troubleshooting method if your tape isn't playing right so on that note I gotta sign off because my battery is starting to go out again so thanks for watching and we will definitely be back with more great videos to share